Hi everyone, and uh, this will be a kind of a pilot episode of my uh, educational series where I'm trying to explain some of the um, slightly more advanced bidding methods that I, I'm sometimes employing. And um, I, I don't want to say that these are um, necessarily correct, but I would say that some of them are quite quite standard among experts. Not to call myself an expert, uh, but uh, I think I have a pretty good grasp of why experts do these things and um, that's what I would like to explain to you. So um, one of the questions that I got after my past video and actually I <laughs> got quite a bit of feedback is, uh, yeah, what's up with these transfers? Like why not just play natural and uh, keep it simple? So yeah, I mean, let's start with kind of a, kind of um reductio ad absurdum um to this question like why not just play transfers or why play transfers over one on trumps i could have a natural one on trump system in which two hearts and two spades show a sign off and three hearts and three spades show a game forcing hand with five cards there um in fact i i have to admit i have played the system before but not with a one on, uh, not with a strong no trump it was a pretty weak no trump so in that case this is actually not a bad idea but all those caveats aside let's let's just concentrate on this particular system so zero to nine natural or 10 plus natural and uh, in the in the following i will have these numbers all the time on the slides it doesn't mean that these are high card points or distributional points or anything uh, if you do like the czar czar count so they're like kind of a minimum opening is 25 i I would uh, advise you not to use these guidelines uh, for them i would <laughs> you kind of need to double it or something but um so what's the point what's the problem with this uh system or how could we improve on it well i mean of course everybody knows that we play transfers over one on trump and look at what happens here so two diamonds would show a zero plus strength and with hearts and over the acceptance you can pass if you have a weak hand or bid on if you have a strong hand. So you can have kind of this invitational uh, sequences or game forcing sequences. The invitational ones, I mean, I'm not honestly a big fan of them. Uh, <laughs> um, it's a little bit like agricultural bidding, some people call it, but uh, we know that uh, agriculture is important. So uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think um, maybe some of these um, Invitational sequences could be used differently, but uh, but let's stick to the standard transfer approach. And in this case, you already see that we basically have six hand types described at the cost of only two bids. So two calls, uh, two diamonds and two hearts, instead of um, just bidding what you have. So that's the main idea behind the entire uh, uh, approach of having transfers everywhere. Whenever you have... Um, relatively little room so here kind of one no trump um box does n that we don't have enough room then we would use um this one call for a wide range of strength in order to show some uh some something about our distribution now what about one no trump overcall so like if if uh, our opponents overcall the uh, two spades let's say and the standard way of doing it is through Leibniz also. So usually, let's say six to nine. Uh, again, these numbers are completely random, but the point is there, it's not a non-game forcing hand with clubs, diamonds, or hearts would be to, to no trump. Or, I mean, here, I'm, I'm being honest here, so it could be some kind of special hand of like a stamen with a stop or whatever, but let's just concentrate on the stops. Um, three clubs would be 10 plus with clubs, three diamonds would be 10 plus with diamonds, three hearts would be 10 plus with hearts, three spades would be 10 plus, and some special, it's usually played stamen without a stop, it could be played as just a stop ask, it could be played as lots of different things, but um, this would basically be uh, the standard system. And here, the main thing you notice is that these clubs, diamonds, or hearts, so this, this two no trump bid, it's very uh, vulnerable to preemption. So what if, let's say I'm trying to sign off in hearts and my par and uh, my partner doesn't know that obviously, and then my um, my opponent would be like three spades or four spades or something, and my partner doesn't know what to do. Um, so that can lead to some problems, right? 
And uh, to that, I can say, well, why not just use transfers here as well? I mean, we got used to transfers on the two level, so why not uh, do it on the three level? So two no trump would just show uh, clubs. And over this pass would, um, so my partner would usually just accept three clubs. And then you can pass or, or bid, uh, bid whatever you wanted to bid normally um, with 10 plus. So now I could, I kind of united these two like one third of this this call and the entire uh, three club call into one, and then the same would go here. And in fact, here we have we would have two different special bids, like three hearts and three spades. And here, uh, in fact, I would say like three hearts could be played as Taman. Uh, I mean, in, in this case, it's a little funny. It would be uh, uh, four plus um, four hearts, so you would actually bid the four card hearts suit on the three level. And um, three spades could be just used as a as a stop ask. Um, you can't transfer to no trump because you already know who will uh, play no trump, and that's the uh, that's your partner because uh, they opened one no trump already. Now, <coughs> what if your partner opens um, one club? So one club is um, um, a minor suit opening, and and we could say to like. Um, the first approximation, especially one club, you can say like it's not really a suit. You you can't really show uh, show a fit here. So here the standard system would be two no trump is eleven to twelve balance. So you don't have enough for three no trump. So you're asking for some help. Three clubs would be eight to ten with clubs. It's just some approximation again. Um, most people wouldn't bid three clubs with a six count unless they have a lot of clubs. And then you can say like well it's not really a six count anymore. But uh, let's just say, like, roughly speaking, you still need about 8 points, whatever they are, banana points, call them what you want, um, to compete. And then all the others would be game forcing. So over one club, you, you roughly need 12 to force the game. Now with transfers, what you can do instead is um, you can just put everything into the 8 plus category. So two no trump would show clubs, three clubs would show diamonds, three diamonds would be hearts, uh, three hearts would be, again, something special, like you can play it as a stop ask, I, I would uh, advise you to play it as a stop ask, and three spades would be transfer to no trump, because in this case, it's not yet decided who will play uh, three no trump, and in this case, you can't force your partner to, to play it. Um, I'm gonna come back to this at the end of this presentation and uh, try to convince you that uh, this is important. Um, so then the question obviously occurs like, what do you do with uh, with the hands that you cannot show in each system? Like each system obviously has some kind of downside, right? So in transfers, notably this two no trump, we just sacrificed it, right? Um, so with 11 to 12 balance, you can't bid two no trump, so you need to like pass or maybe double, maybe show one of these minors, like maybe show a four card club fit um, or um, show a diamond suit if you have a five card diamond suit or something like that. Of course, it doesn't show 11 to 12, but at least you showed something. So at least you, your partner knows that you don't have zero and that's already um, quite some information for him. Um, but like, in the standard system, I would argue it's a much more serious problem. So like, let's say you have eight, eight to 11 and diamonds. Now, should you double with that? Should you, should you bid three no Trump with that? What should you do? Um, it's a bit awkward and the same goes for, for hearts. And of course, hearts are uh, our main um, concern. And so double here, could be sometimes some kind of a for example this 11 to, to 12 balanced it's nice that you you can bid it but sometimes you don't have a stop so you have to like kind of double without four hearts or do something else do something weird so like double is a very awkward thing to do it's a very am ambiguous call like your partner will usually assume that you have four hearts but what if you have five or six hearts and a weak hand it can be a disaster, basically. Like, if it goes one club, two spades, double, four spades, then opener will definitely not bid five hearts over that. And 
Uh, but if they know that you have a weakish hand with five hearts, then suddenly bidding hearts over spades is not uh, doesn't look so so bad anymore. And of course, like less dramatically, the same goes for like one club, two spades, uh, three diamonds, three diamonds. Assuming we are here, three diamonds, three spades. Now they they will kind of automatically bid four hearts on every hand with four card support and uh, or a good heart or a good hand with three card support. So definitely showing that you have a five card heart suit rather than often a four card heart suit and sometimes even a three card heart suit. That's a huge winner here. So we are basically on the this here on the right side with transfers. We are prioritizing. Um, suits over strength so we're just going to show as many suits as possible and as often as possible so like what if we have an actual suit so i said that one club is not a real suit and uh, the first approximation is true and um, that's actually one of the uh, one of the advantages of polish club is that one club is almost never a real suit so your partner can basically count on you having a weak no trump and in that case um, uh, basically your partner should have a lot of leeway showing suits because uh, you will always have some kind of uh, fit or tolerance for it but like what if we did show a suit so let's say one heart two spades and the standard system again on the left would show kind of 11 to 12 balanced two no trump three clubs three diamonds it's again just game forcing with that minor then you have three different raises basically three hearts three spades and four hearts three spades is usually played as a raise i mean stop ask maybe but uh, i'd rather just uh, play it as a raise and um if you have a transfers again you gain um, um some extra possibilities with clubs and diamonds you can show them on the uh by transferring to to those suits and passing and raising uh raising however this is where you really gain a lot so like three hearts would be a raise right i mean it would be really weird not to play it as a raise to play it as a stop ask or statement or whatever you would want to play so three diamonds three hearts and obviously also four hearts would be a raise so you would say like oh maybe it's a push but of course first of all you gain this three spade 12 plus special, which I would advise you to play it as a transfer to three no trump. But second, of course, these are lower. So like the raise one can still stop in three hearts and three hearts can obviously stop in three hearts. So if you're trying to like define the strength, you would see something like this. So um, three diamonds would be 10 plus uh, with a fit. Si three hearts would be six to nine with a fit. Three spades could be this transfer to, to no trump. And then um, four hearts could be like played as a six six to nine plus shape. So you're trying to uh, kind of preempt them. Then, then your partner knows like, okay, my partner jumped to three uh, to four hearts even though they had the opportunity to bid three diamonds or three hearts. So three hearts here would be kind of competitive of course i'm writing here six to nine i mean probably you wouldn't do it with every six to nine it would be maybe more like this eight to ten that i, I last said but uh, just to keep it simple you can just agree with your partner like three heart just show the sing single raise unless you you have a terrible hand it's probably the right approach because yeah your your opponents are just about to bully you in spades so you really want to show your heart fit and um and help your partner decide but then with a limit raise Obviously, you can't bid three three spades because then you're already above uh, the rejection, so you can't stop in uh, four hearts. Sorry, you can't stop in you cannot stop in three hearts, but you you have to go to four hearts, so you might as well just jump to it with a limit raise. And then three spades would be kind of like a forcing raise, like uh, twelve plus. And obviously, here with the transfers, you could even agree that some of these. Uh, show um show a four card raise or a five card raise now uh, one more example let's say it goes one heart two diamonds now you have a lot of different options <laughs> and uh i'm just gonna show one way of you playing the transfer so like it could be that one heart two diamonds two hearts can be played a six to nine it's normal 
two spades is uh, generally played as 10 plus and forcing one round, you can come back and tell me that uh, negative free bids are right and yeah, you would definitely have a point. In fact, I like negative free bids, they're here on the right side. Um, but then again, this 2 no trump 11 to 12, it kind of looks cool and everything and uh, um, it feels nice to show your strength, I know, but there's probably a better way to use this as. So three clubs would be, again, just played as uh, 12 plus, so game forcing with clubs. Three diamonds would be a limit raise or better. So this would usually be based on points. Uh, three hearts, obviously you can play it in various ways, but I'm just gonna say like it's a six to nine uh, hand with a four card fit and um, it does depend on vulnerability a lot and everything. And uh, of course we are still bridge players. We're gonna look at our hand and look at uh, look at the vulnerability and the point um, form of scoring and everything. So of course, but like the first approximation, this is the standard way of playing is three hearts. It just shows kind of a single race, but a four card fit and not a, not um, too flat. And three spades, I think most people would play it as a splinter, although you could play it as a <laughs> transfer to three no drum. Uh, and we're gonna get back to it uh, on the, the other side of the slide in a second. And four hearts is usually just a six to nine with a five card fit. Obviously not a terrible six card, six six count with a, let's say five, three, three, two, you wouldn't do it, but with some kind of shape and some kind of um, really good fit and trying to uh, uh, sign off. Now with transfers, what you would gain here is two hearts, would stay the same with two spades. You could show, just show spades right away with this non-forcing way because you would have another way of showing them in a forcing way. So two spades, it's kind of a, a purely extra possibility. In a standard system, you would have to double with that and that has its uh, downsides as well. Of course, double normally shows four card spades, but uh, yeah, sometimes you have to kind of stretch to double and you're gonna Get in, um, get in all, all kinds of trouble in the end. Um, but here I, I can just tell my partner, look, I have a five card spade suit and an eight count. What do you think? And if my partner doesn't think anything, they can just pass it. And we stopped uh, on a very low level. Um, two no trump would just be a transfer to clubs and three clubs in this case, let's say would show spades. There's many different ways of uh, playing it, but one way is that a transfer queue to their minor shows the other major and the transfer queue sorry the transfer into your major so in this case three three diamonds uh would show off it this this is one way you have to agree with your partner obviously and uh then three hearts would be the same four hearts would be, would be the same and the other thing that we can just gain um compared to the standard system is this transfer to three no trump so you want your partner to bid 3 no trump unless they have something very special of course um so like why transfer to 3 no trump like what's what's the big deal this was the main question that i got so i might as well get to it and this is the last part of my talk so like the first order right siding is the stopper should be receiving the lead so this is a very simple example so imagine you're playing six no trump you have enough tricks uh i'm not even gonna count basically one of these hearts will go on the club, so you have the rest. Um, if West is on lead, that, then they have nothing to do. If they lead passively, you get 12 tricks. If they lead actively, so leading the ace or the queen of hearts or something, uh, you're getting 12 tricks. It's the same thing. Um, if East had been on lead, then you would have been down 5, right? West would have cashed um, 6 hearts. Uh, in the first six tricks. So this is the first order right siding, it makes sense. Whoever has the strength in the holding, in, in the opponent's holding, they should receive the lead, like other things being equal. This sounds like a good uh, principle, right? I mean, why not? But the second order right siding is the suit should be making the lead. So here, uh, West bid um, two hearts. I mean, it's easier to see here. 
one or two hearts. Let's say they bid one heart. And they, uh, we opened one diamond, one heart, three no trump. This is kind of a reasonable gamble. I mean, okay, nor North is actually quite strong. They have a 17 count, but they thought, okay, I don't have a diamond fit. I do have a heart stopper. Uh, I have more than enough. I'm not going to show the clubs. What should I do? I'm just going to bid three no trump. I think many standard players would do it. And in fact, if I um, if I were playing with a random player, a random partner, I would probably bid three no trump. I mean, the alternatives I don't even know. Like two clubs, two hearts, it's very hard, and it's especially very hard to get your partner to to bid uh, three no trump if they only have queen doubleton. So um, in this case, if you bid three no trump, you're actually going down. You have um, I didn't count actually. Okay, this is a 15 count. <laughs> this is my example, so I, uh, please don't sue me. But let, let's say South decided that uh, um, they're they're a bit too weak for a one on trap opener because they don't have an ace and they don't have any tens. So yeah, let, let's say that it doesn't matter too much. The main point is actually um, North South have 32 points together, but because they play, they're playing. Uh, 3 0 Trump from the wrong side, they're gonna go down here because uh, no matter what they do, they're gonna lose. Um, yeah, they, they only have eight tricks basically. Like, they have to go through clubs to get the ninth trick. You can check. This is not Photoshop, this is actually uh, actual um, double dummy analysis. You're gonna go down in 3 0 Trump. However, if North had had the uh, foresight, as you might have said, uh, as you might have seen uh, Julius. Um, do last week, Julius had a similar hand, a bit weaker, with ace third, and that's the, that's the main reason why uh, I thought of this example. And uh, he bid three spades, so it went actually one club, but it doesn't matter too much. So one club, one heart, three spades, transferred to the three no trump, and I, I bid three no trump. In that case, I didn't have queen double trump, but in this case, I do because I made made up the example. It's the same example, and in this case, West actually would do best not to lead. Um, um, West would do best not to lead um, um, a heart. West could be uh, could lead anything other than a club, and uh, um, they can ke keep us to uh, eleven tricks, but uh, they will never be able to to beat us. So in this case, the right siding. Um, I mean, assuming that West would lead a heart, then that's basically a four card swing, and uh, most importantly, it is a game swing. So that's the main thing, I'm sorry about that, but the main advantage of uh, transferring to 3 no Trump is that whenever you have a non-positional stopper, and in fact, almost all stoppers are non-positional once, once you think about it, whenever you have a non-positional stopper, so some kind of stopper and some uh, low cards so in fact even ace queen three would be a non-positional stopper hoping for a jack doubleton or even a ten doubleton in your partner's hand um it's kind of weird but once you you start looking at these um, card combinations you will realize that the main point here is not that the stopper has to be declarer is that the suit the long suit wh whoever has strength from your opponents they should be leader, they should be an opening lead. So you can do lots of different fancy stuff with this. For example, and this is just uh, the last thing. I um, showed you something with this. Um, oh yeah. So let's say one club, two spades, uh, preempt, right? Three hearts would be a stop ask, let's say. In this case, three spades, so the simple except by by north, by declarer, sorry, by opener or dealer, and the simple except, so one club, two spades, three hearts from us, and they would be three spades. That could also be a transfer to three no trump. It would be just partner, I can um, I can be declarer, and so, so we have stopped uh, spades, 
but maybe it's better if uh, if you play it. And of course, in this case, actually the long the long shoot wouldn't be on lead, but there are still some possibilities where uh, it's better that uh, the other side receives it. It's a bit complicated, but uh, uh, another way of playing it would be like this would ask for a stop, three hearts, and then three spades would say um, from opener would say, well. Um, I think um, I might have a stopper, I might not. So it's kind of a half a stopper, so uh, Jack Doubleton or something. <laughs> but maybe. Uh, and the, It's a little sick, but you can also sometimes think of bidding 3 no trump or, or uh, kind of trying to show a stop with Jack Doubleton. But uh, okay, you didn't hear it from me. Uh, but um, it's one way of uh, bidding. Anyway. So I hope this was helpful. Of course, I didn't go through the entire system and everything. Like, what do you, what does opener do over transfers? But I hope I um, at least gave you some uh, some ideas how you could implement transfers in your system. And um, just as a a few conclusions and advantages and disadvantages. So with transfers, you can usually show suits earlier. You can act more often, so you're not going to pass that much. Your partner will always have some kind of idea uh, that you have something there. And uh, thirdly, this right siding is actually the um, one of the most in interesting parts of bridge, which I think is hasn't been solved yet at the moment. Um, now, disadvantages of transfers, uh, you can... Sh so you're showing strengths later sometimes. So if if I'm transferring into something and I'm just showing six plus, then my partner doesn't know that I have 13, let's say, or 14. Um, this is maybe a disadvantage, but on the other hand, um, um, yeah, like when in doubt, like shape trumps strengths or, Showing your shape is more important than showing your strength because um, not knowing your partner's shape can cause a lot of different uh, problems uh, in lots of different situations. I, I, I don't have enough time right now to explain, but um, whenever there's a double fit or, or like extreme situations, situations like that, it can be like a double game swing if your opponents did find a fit and you didn't. So... I would say like showing the suits earlier is much more important than uh, showing your strength earlier. And in fact, even here, I would uh, argue <laughs> with my own uh, counter argument because it's also not so simple that I'm showing strength later. Like I'm showing game forcing strength later maybe, but uh, oftentimes I can show like this kind of eight plus, eight plus hand, which in standard bidding uh, has a hard time showing itself. And if my if I have to pass with like let's say the, f the rough numbers zero to twelve, I have to pass. And uh, in the transfer system, you would know that oh well, he passed, so he doesn't have eight plus, or he doesn't have eight plus with shape. Then that tells me uh, that uh, that tells my partner a lot. Like my partner can uh, feel less under pressure, basically. Um, some memory strain, I agree, there is always some memory strain. Whenever you uh, bit something that's not natural, there will be some memory strain, but just think of how, how easy you got used to transfers over one no trump. So, um, yeah, so th that's basically it. And I hope this was useful and I, I hope you will think of using transfers. So there's transfers, if you just Google bridge and transfers, um, you will see some sources. I, I was gonna say you will see lots of sources, but Unfortunately, it's not true. So it's actually still not so easy to find this stuff. Uh, but if you try, if you try to Google like transfer advances, then maybe you will find some, uh, let's say, bridge-based forums or bridge winners threads on it. And uh, and yeah, I mean, I, I hope you enjoyed this talk. I am um, I'm still getting used to it. Part of this was uh, I was I was trying to get used to this uh, new environment of giving a talk just to a webcam which is not something that I've ever done. And uh, now even at work, I'm, um, I'm a scientist and even at work, I see a lot of different um, online talks and uh, I'm frankly very impressed with how well people can uh, keep their uh, composure because uh, it's a little weird. 
Anyway, I'm at the 30 minute mark, so I think it's, uh, well, on Zoom I would get 40 minutes, but I think this is good enough for today, and I hope uh, I will see you around. Yeah, today I will upload probably this video and the German language video. I hope uh, the German speakers will, uh, will watch that. Uh, I'm not sure how it will go. I haven't recorded the German language video in at least four years. But um, my German is much better now, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, see you around and uh, happy transferring.